After an alternate timeline was reverted, Amy sat in her garden, despondent over the doctor's death and her own cold-blooded murder of Covarian. River, fresh from the crash of the Byzantium, arrived to tell Amy the truth behind her lies, including the doctor's death. This lifted Amy's spirits until she realized she had been destined to be her best friend's mother-in-law since she was seven. Two years later, the doctor joined Amy and Rory for Christmas dinner. The doctor continued to travel alone, but kept in touch with Amy and Rory at least monthly. Once, in the middle of the night, he stopped by to pick the couple up to help save the universe, but realized he had arrived too early and they did not know what he was talking about. Later, an Ood wandered out of the TARDIS and into their bathroom. With the doctor unable to pick up the Ood right away, he acted as Amy and Rory's butler while he stayed there, which made the couple very uncomfortable. At one point, the doctor was able to pick the Ood up and return him to his proper time and place. During this time, Amy and Rory tried having more children. However, Amy discovered that she was now infertile as a result of what was done to her while imprisoned on Demon's Run. The doctor left Amy and Rory a message saying he would be seeing them again very soon. This occurred as Amy and Rory had a fight, and Rory stormed out. Amy admitted it was a misguided attempt to let Rory have a happier life and have children which she was now incapable of having. After leaving the message, the doctor thought better of it and used the sonic screwdriver to erase the message over the phone. Amy, upon entering and seeing the answering machine with no messages, tearfully said, We need you, raggedy man. I need you, 